getting ready. Llego otro, el otro coach, el mero mero. ¿Cómo está? <laughs> es el trainer de este muchacho aquí. El de Noah. Coach Aldana, it's been a while. Yeah. What's new, what's new with Garden City Boxing Club? I know we've been absent for a little bit. We've had a little bit of, you know, we do music and other stuff too, so. So what's going on with Garden City Boxing Club? That's what we want to know. 20 push-ups, Robert. Damn, push-ups. Yeah, we're getting ready to, currently working on a new building, so we'll be moving everybody to probably by maybe the end of uh, October. So that's pretty much it. We just got to do another show uh, about two weeks ago. The uh, Buck Avila Memorial Show. Here in garden. Other than that, not much of anything else. What's going to be that ad that new address? 2720 West Maple. Say if these kids want to come and join Garden City Boxing Club, how would they get a hold of you? Uh, well, right now, uh, give me a call to my cell phone number, 620-272-3952. Or Coach Mir, right now you can talk to him and can give you his number too. Hi, 21 all right, this, these are the guys right here, man. 20 push-ups. At the Garden City Boxing Club. How do you do it right here? Uh, I won 20 bucks. You lost one to the I went for uh, Victor. Oh, yeah, I know this guy already. We, we know him from the other video. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Mayweather groupie, but uh, aquí está in Garden City Boxing Club. That's, that's all right. What else you want? All right, man, what do you think? Ortiz. Ortiz. Are, you, are you related to Victor? Uh, just... Just coincidence? Yeah, same last one. Uh, but I was going for my weather. <laughs> oh, oh, plus like that. So it wasn't about the Mexicans going for Mexicans, it was about. Uh, I mean, I know Victor is good, but uh, nice. I think got a lot more to learn. So, what did you learn from that fight? The... What's the main thing? Don't you say learned? sorry if you do something stupid. <laughs> and, and what's the most important thing? Just wait till the last. If you already hit him with the head, just keep your hands take up. Advantage of it. Keep your hands up, right? Yeah. Keep your guard up. Future world champion, I mean. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of champions coming out of here, but you know, this guy keeps keeps going. He's undefe undefeated, right? Yeah, undefeated. Get him, get him, Noah. right here with his trainer and his grandpa. You ready to fight or what? No, right now, you and me, dude. Nah, I just kidding, man. Hey, what do you gotta say to what do you gotta say to Brandon, man? He's a good fighter. What do you think about his next fight coming up? Yeah. You gonna be ready for him? Yeah. You gonna hold that same belt one day? Yeah. Alrighty. What do you think about it? I gotta ask you, man. What what do you think about that victory and Mayweather fight? I mean who I think. Well, we all know what happened. Just yeah, like referee says, protect yourself at all times. And that, and that he, he broke the cardinal rule. Yep. And that's it. That that's 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 the thing. And and May, so Mayweather being the more the more experienced fighter, he took advantage. Yeah, it's like you know, during the episodes of 24/7, it's kind of weird that Mayweather told him he's gonna make a mistake and take advantage. Of him. You know, I guess that's what that's what came about. What's up, Mir? How you doing, man? All right. You looking good in the ring, dude. So what you been up to, man? How, how was the last fight? What was your last fight? My last fight was at ringside. 
I had two fights down there. Uh, I didn't win the tournament, but there, there's this kid that gave me another chance. And he, he, was, a, he was, I think, 11 or 12. And he wanted to fight me, and I'm going to let him go, and I ended up winning that one. So right now, my record is 1, 6, and 0. Pretty one win, but... Hey, it's come it. Yeah, that's all you can do, man. Coach Eduardo Castillo, long time no see. See, you, you're working out your, your guy right here, Fernando. Yeah, Fernando. Next pro. Next pro? He's turning pro already? December. December 2. December 2nd. He's going professional already. Another one, dude. Hey, none but champions come out of here, dude. Hey, we got uh, boxer Richard Acevedo right here. His, his brother's a professional boxer, Herbert Acevedo. What's going on, man? How you doing? You going to go fight in Wichita? Yeah, like two months. Getting ready. Yeah. Hey, so what do you think about? Um, I'm asking everybody, man. What do you think about the Victor Ortiz fight? It is what it is. Can't, can't do I don't it. Really care want, no. Hey, tell us about your brother's last fight. What happened with your brother's last fight? Oh, he won. Uh, second. Round second round knockout. knockout. Yeah. He's five and zero, oh, three knockouts now. Huh? What's your record? I don't know. I have like eight fights. I'll keep track. Seventy-two. <laughs> <laughs> right here, Juan Aldani shows up. What were you doing? School, bro. Oh, school. That's good. Good excuse. Good excuse. Good excuse. School first. That's good. School first, right? Y'all are moving to uh, to your, to your grandpa's ranch. Yeah, we know they're working on doing the place up and soon we'll be out there in a bigger place. Yeah, that's good, man. Hey, support your local uh, clubs here, you know what I'm saying? This is a non-profit organization, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, look, this is what it's about. It's all about the kids. And yeah. And they got world champions coming out of this gym, so you know what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Hey. That's how we need donations for, but whenever we go eat, we can make sure that Jordan gets something to eat. Hey, because he don't, he, he don't qualify for the kid meal no more. No. So, porque ya es hombre, mijo, right here. Right. Tell him, give us some money to go eat. Tell him. Give some money to go eat. Come to go box. And box. Hey, coach, when is your next, when is the next tournament? Here in Burke. Or whenever, wherever. Yeah, we got one I think coming up in Oklahoma City. I don't remember the date. The 12th or the 19th. What do you got coming up for fundraisers? What are you trying to do to? I don't want to really do nothing right now. We just you know, get that gym built and that's about it. Get that and then get ready for the, for the silver gloves.